Hello everyone and welcome, I'm Alex, I'm the architect for Backfrap and in today's video we are going to see how to integrate parse into a React Native Expo project. So here in Backfrap I created this parse app called React Native Expo and as you can see it's an empty ap application, I only have the two classes that parse creates for convenience and in order to start a new Expo project I should go to my Visual Studio and have my terminal and should type Expo in it. It wants me for a app name, so my app, and to choose a template that will use it to start my application. But here in Back for App, we have a full template here in our templates Back for App uh, GitHub that is fully configured and ready to run with everything that you need installed. So you can come here and choose this repo, uh, React Native Expo, and you can use this thing to clone or download the zip, and whatever the method that you choose, uh, you end up with this folder inside your machine. React Native Expo. Once you're here, you have to install all the packages needed for it to work. So I'm using yarn, so I'll have to type yarn install. This takes a couple of seconds, but uh, at the end, everything will be configured for you. All you have to do now is to change two files. So, open here. The first one is keys.js. Here, it will ask you for the application ID and, mask and JavaScript key. So, back to my parse dashboard, if I scroll down to app settings and security and keys, here I'll find my application ID that I will paste here and my JavaScript key that I will paste here. Save. The second file that we can change is the app.js. In here I created a method called create installation that will create a new parse installation setting the device type as the platform or operational system that I'm using, in this case iOS. So all this is ready to go. So all I have to do now is type yarn iOS. It will open a new tab on my navigator and start the Metro Bundler, which will start the simulator automatically. My application is already running. You will see there is a new update, so it will download it. And once this is done, if I go back to parse and core, here we find my installation class with one object, and if I scroll to device type, you see iOS listed. So this is the easiest way for you to start an Expo project. Just download our template, run Yarn install, and you're good to go. I hope you liked this video, and hope to see you on the next months of this series. See you soon. Bye bye.